Now to our fire watch. The Oak Fire in Mariposa County only grew about 850 acres overnight, scorching about 18,000 acres since it started on Friday with 26% containment. That fire just west of Yosemite National Park has already burned down 55 structures. Evacuation orders are still in place for over 5,000 people in that area. Cal Fire officials say they hope to have the Oak Fire contained by this weekend, but for now, the governor has declared a state of emergency for that area. Danya Backus has the latest. Nearly 3,000 firefighters working around the clock are making progress containing the Oak Fire near Yosemite National Park. A wave of humidity moved into the area overnight, allowing crews to work on hot spots and set up control lines. As of Tuesday morning, the fire scorched about 28 square miles and was 26% contained, but this fight is far from over. There's brush that has been on the ground for years now that is just tinder dry. It takes one spark and an instant that you have a fire. Fire officials are confident they can keep the fire out of Yosemite National Park. You know, at least one of the main roads into Yosemite is closed and inaccessible right now. But uh, we don't believe that the fire is going to get into Yosemite. At least 55 homes and other structures are damaged or destroyed. The Oak Fire is the third large wildfire in Mariposa County just this month. It's not you this time. <laughs> It'll be next time that the folks are really on, you know, pins and needles. Dry conditions are causing fire danger across the country. Near Dallas, Texas, fire officials believe a lawnmower sparked a wildfire that tore through this neighborhood Monday afternoon, burning at least 20 homes. It jumped from this spot to that spot just in a matter of seconds. And then everything went completely dark. And in Alaska, crews have battled more than 530 wildfires. Washington State firefighter Eric Keene shot this video of the clear fire near Fairbanks earlier this month. That fire, still raging, has burned an area the size of Durham, North Carolina. Donya Backus, CBS News.